1340 96.5 KVGC, seven minutes after the hour. Time for a look at the news. It's a Monday, the ninth day of September for 2019. Well, CAL FIRE, along with local Amador fire units, rolled to a reported vegetation fire yesterday afternoon near the intersection of Highway 124 and Highway 16. When first responders arrived, they reported the fire at half an acre and burning slowly in the dry grass along the roadway. A wet line was quickly established around the fire and contained at two acres. The cause under investigation. And Calaveras fire crews were dispatched to a reported vegetation fire Saturday morning off Usher Street in Rancho Calaveras. That fire was contained at just a 20 by 20 foot spot and is also under investigation. Once again, Cal Fire and local fire agencies remind us September and October are two of the most deadliest and devastating months for fire in California and not to let your guard down. The Calaveras Sheriff's Office Marijuana Enforcement Team was busy last week, keeping close to $2.5 million of marijuana off the streets. The first stop was property off Simpson Road in Railroad Flat. Deputies located and eradicated 741 growing marijuana plants and a small amount of processed marijuana. Calaveras County Code Compliance also red-tagged the property for various code violations. Another illegal grow, also in Railroad Flat, was hit by deputies that same day. At this site, off Royal Lane, deputies seized 115 growing pot plants. A day later, the team was added again and discovered 759 marijuana plants on a property off Buckboard Lane in Copperopolis. The plants were concealed within brush and trees on the property at various locations. No suspects were found on any of these properties, so no arrests were made. Anyone with information on these or other illegal grows or sites manufacturing concentrated cannabis are asked to call the sheriff's marijuana tip line at 754-6870. And a town hall meeting is scheduled for tonight to discuss homelessness in Calaveras County and tap into newly available resources. Last May, Calaveras County instituted a homeless task force to take a coordinated community-based approach to related issues. Now, tonight's meeting will be held in collaboration with multiple community partners and will again be held 5.30, San Andreas Elementary School. The community is invited. The Amador County Public Health Department is currently investigating a recent outbreak of shigellosis in the county. The disease is called by a group of bacteria called shigella. Most people infected develop diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps starting a day or two after they are exposed to the bacteria. Shigellosis usually runs its course in five to seven days. Some people who are infected may have no symptoms at all, but may still pass the bacteria to others. Dehydration is also a key concern. Amador health officials are currently investigating the outbreak and urge food safety practices in both restaurant and home kitchens. The most common way people are exposed to shigella is by eating food prepared by someone who is infected. Frequent and careful hand washing is advised to help prevent the spread of bacteria. Through medical atten though medical attention isn't usually required, officials say shigellosis can be serious in at-risk individuals, namely young children children and the elderly. If you have experienced any of these symptoms, contact your primary health care provider and the Amador County Public Health Department. And Calaveras County drivers will find temporary closures on two well-traveled roads today from 7 to 4 p.m. through Wednesday, North Railroad Flat Road between Noble and Wells Fargo Station Roads will be closed to all but residents of the area. Then today and tomorrow, Dogtown Road between Esmeralda and San Domingo Roads will also be closed except for local traffic. Now, anyone with questions about the projects should contact the Calaveras County Public Works Department. Fired Up is the theme for the annual Big Red Barn event in Ione, set for this Saturday at 5.30 p.m. This year, funds will be raised to purchase new wildland gear for the Ione Fire Department and uniforms for the Junior Cadet Program. Tickets to the event are $35 per person, a barbecue rib dinner as planned, as well as a live and silent auction, raffle, and open bar. Tickets can be purchased online at bigredbarn.eventbrite.com. 
at the Ion City Hall and also at the Ion Fire Department. For questions or additional information, contact Sharon Long at 304-5118. All donations are tax deductible. If you cannot attend, consider making a donation. And that's a look at local news on a Gold Country Monday morning. From the KVGC News Center, I'm Megan O'Keefe. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting local news brought to us today by Howard's Body Shop and Volcano Communications. For the latest news, traffic, and weather 24 hours a day, you can always visit our website. That's kvgcradio.com.